Hey, good morning. This is the trail we came down last night and our stealth spot really was stealth. We had to walk through into a clearing. There's Pink finishing up his packing and we are heading to a water source down the trail to stock up because there's not much water until we get up and over a climb today. So we're going like, I don't know, it's another tenth of a mile supposedly up here and we'll find water. So I want to emphasize something from yesterday that uh, I feel bad for kind of semi-glossing over to one more got to talk. She had an awesome hiking day. I mean, we did, I was so tired. I was just focused on the, we did 15 miles. But, you know, hiked with one more before the ankle injury or the foot injury. I just always kind of expect her or used to her just killing it because she's a very strong hiker. Uh, so yesterday was more like normal, <laughs> uh, but that was monumental because she had a normal day of hiking. Her foot was good. So the shoes and the rest paid off and she's uh, semi back to normal. Still achy in the evenings a little bit, I think. Hey, one more. We had an update. I was talking about what a monumental day yesterday was because you were back to normal. Yeah. We'll see what today brings. It's going to be one hell of a climb. Yeah, yesterday we did. Went back and looked 3,800 feet of climbing, which is a lot. Anytime you top 3,000. And today we get to 4,000. So 13 and a half miles, 4,000 feet of climbing. But how's the foot feel? Feels good this morning. Yeah. Happy with your shoes and happy with the progress, huh? I am. More back to normal? More back to normal as much as normal I am. <laughs> All right. We're going to go get some water. Okay. About two and a half miles in, and we are hitting the uphill. We did a little up and over at the shelter. And we're just gonna take our time and over the course of the day, cruise up 4,000 feet <laughs> with some down sprinkled here and there. Steep. Through the gate and a big step over. I get the gate. Could have done without the step over. Especially for people with little short pe Peggy Fleming legs. How you doing, one more? Good. How you feeling today? Feel good. Just moving along, right? Moving along. Love the ups. Yeah, love them. <laughs> Looks like I'm coming up to a mini bald or something like that. I don't know if we go up over it or around it. Climbed up a little staircase and came out into this very nice looking field. See the mountains in the distance and the whole field is covered in flowers. It's another Disney kind of morning.
All right, we were about 900 feet up our 1,500 foot climb, about 600 to go, so way over half. And it's been steep and rough. We are, they broke through to, you can see the valleys down there. And here's where we're headed. A little update on, uh, just so you know how we're all doing it with the hiking stuff. We actually got out of camp. I don't know if I said this earlier, but earlier than pick. Uh, I, you know, it, when you hike together, it doesn't mean you hike every step together. We just, for whatever reason, we just woke up super early. Uh, got our stuff together. I we not far ahead of him, but, you know, maybe 15 minutes. And so he said, just go ahead and go on. And we know where we're going to end up. So we'll all end up in the same spot. So if you're wondering why you hadn't seen updates from Pick, um, he's a little bit behind us. You know, don't know, a lot of the times he catches up to us, so he may catch up to us here in just a little bit. I know he was wrestling with that new pack and had a lot of weight. So, so I don't know. This has been a grueling climb. I haven't seen anybody much on the trail. We passed, uh, let's see, Sherpa and, oh well, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my mind's gone. But anyway, they are uh, meeting a cousin, so they were, doing a Nero way at the bottom of this climb. And then we've had two guys pass us coming southbound, going down the hill. But really, that's all we've seen so far today. And it's uh, about 11.10. So we started hiking right at eight. So it's been a little, a little more than three hours. One more is still doing well and that is her mountain goating up the up the mountain. The entire mountainside is covered in these beautiful white flowers. Same way all the way down there. And you hear a constant little buzz going from the bumblebees, which is kind of cool. No, well, we finally uh, broke out of the ultra steep and rocky part, which was most of that climb. Not much filming going up that. Too daggum tired and not a lot of level ground to even put your feet on. But we broke out. Still kind of steep up through here, but nowhere near the rocks that we were going over. So, I don't know, we got about another quarter mile of climbing on this climb. Just the hard one of the day long one of the day, but not the only one of the day. So we got a bunch of smaller ones coming up. That'll be interesting because this pretty much took it out of our legs. We'll have to rest up and see how it goes. But there's really no camping sites between here and the shelter area we're going to. So we've just got to press on for another eight miles or so. And we got people up here with a puppy.
Well, it's 12.15 and we have finally made it up to the top of our climb buzzard rock and it's lunchtime. Wrap some peanut butter. Turn around, sun bunny. <laughs> Being responsible. She got a hiker hat. More... I got a hat. I'm tired of dealing with skin cancer. Remember that. Sunscreen and hats. <laughs> so, made up the top of buzzard rock and there's views here, but I gotta eat first. We'll do a film in after, uh, after lunch. All right, he just finished lunch. This is Buzzard Rock. And here are the views. Beautiful. Definitely long range views. We've been here about 20 minutes, kind of expecting Pick to be catching up with us. Since, uh, but I haven't seen him yet. But I don't know if he's already stopped for lunch. Walking through. There's a whole field of these. Kind of the reddish green showing through. And way up here, Telecommunication and tornado siren, we think. And here comes one more. Sporting the stylish sun hat. The sensible hiker. After some wicked rocks, we broke out into a little trail with a nice view of the valley. Some of the farmland. Okay, we got 4.2 to go, and we were feeling it. It's rough. We just came downhill, but it was rocky the whole way. And now, we came down out of there, across the road. There's one more. And all of a sudden, no rocks, or at least they're dodgeable. It is enough, but We'll take it. 4.2 and it's just a tick after three o'clock. So we're thinking by six, we should be at the shelter. End of two long days. We're entering in a wildflower area. They had signs that said stay on the path and protect the wildflowers. But this is just incredible. There's flowers everywhere, even in the middle.
And this is our first pony, the wild ponies in Grayson Highland. What's your name, buddy? And you can tell they're used to hikers coming by. He's gonna come up and say hi. Hey. You getting good salt there? Hmm. Yeah. You got some good licks there. About me. Get some from one more. Oh. Licking the salt off. <laughs> oh, you're beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. All right. I'm talking about the end of the day trying to kill you. This is what we've been climbing up for at least half a mile, maybe more. These are like big steps up. You're just going up a rock fall. Ugh. No fun anytime during the hike, but at the end of the day, when you're coming up on 4,000 feet of total climbing, it's like, what the hell? And we get a little break. All right, a little over a mile away. This is, I guess, part of Grayson Highlands. And we came down from this area. You can see one more working her way down. All right, we're almost there. And we broke out into pony land. If you look up there, there's a corral right there. It's like I saw one. I didn't go a horse up in that area, but so this is near camp. Horses. Rush hour on the trail. Hey, Slim Jim. And one more. Nice hair, uh, huh? Yeah. Look at that. We got the. Got the gray going too. I'll try to get down here because we're standing up and we're about to go to bed because we're just beat. We did 13.5 today. We did 15 yesterday. So that's 28 and a half if my math brain is working. Uh, almost climbed 4,000 feet in elevation yesterday. Topped that today uh, and ended with rocks, rocks, rocks. Um, the three of us are just beat. It was, it was a rough day, but I'll let one more go now. I did not have fun. It was not a fun day. She did not. <laughs> <laughs> and to top it off, we got into the land of the ponies. The first pony we came to came up and started 
you know, the, and the, one of the local guys we passed said, yeah, that pony's pretty much tame. He'll come up and lick the salt off your arm. You do this and all that. So we were talking, hey, how's it going, buddy? And he's licking the salt off our arm. <laughs> Did not want one more to leave, though, when it came time to leave. She started to leave. He quickly turned around and kicked her. <laughs> yeah, so it's perfect. So, she's, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. She saw it coming and kind of backed up. So it was a very glancing blow, but it's yeah. It's a glancing blow. Yes. And I have the hoof mark on my clothes to prove it, so. Kicked yeah. by a wild pony. <laughs> <laughs> you know, of so all, now they're all over up here and they're approaching me and I'm freaking, freaking out. Yeah, so. there, there are ponies everywhere. <laughs> It's kind of funny, you know, you go on the trail, rattlesnakes, bears, road crossing. No, Pony. feral ponies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we're hearing an inch of us that's not hurting our feet or killing us. I don't know if I, I said or brought it up last time, but Pick did catch up with us uh, and did the last uh, three or four miles with us. So he's doing fine. He's uh, just, he's extremely tired like we are and decided to stay in the shelter as opposed to tenting so he's yeah at the shelter yeah so he's not here to give his opinion but he's up in the shelter because he, he did not want to set up a tent i just can't sleep in a shelter at all so we went ahead and, and did the tent thing uh so we're over at the tenting site that we survived that's about what we're going to say about today and i'm kind of I'm, you know and in hindsight we're, we're going to look back on it as it was two very good days to i mean mileage wise and climbing we we uh, it's an accomplishment, but our bodies are feeling it. So we're going to bed. I'm eating this Slim Jim and hanging bear bag and good night. <laughs>